despite some weird feelings of deja vu that I can't really explain, today we play Lazio for the first time in the history of this football club. Hello and welcome to part 165 of It's Coming Home. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we have both legs of the Europa League quarterfinal against Lazio. Two legs against Lazio in the Europa League. Never been done before. Since you were last with me, uh, this is what's been going on. Not a huge amount. We drew, uh, typical typical home again. We drew with Leicester when we should have won. But then we beat Tottenham, who had 12 points clear at the top of the league. It's baffling how this keeps happening. The Premier League looks nuts. Five games left and we are level on points with Bournemouth, Wolves, Man City, Arsenal and us. Second to sixth, all on 60 points. Chelsea behind us on 59. Tottenham have already got this sewn up. The Premier, the Champions League spots are wide open though. We just have to keep winning. It's bizarre. But we're not thinking about that now. What we're thinking about now is getting through to the semi-final of the Europa League. You know, got to have a backup. Let's continue having two routes into next season's Champions League. And this is the team we're putting out there to take on Lazio. As you can see, we are down to bare bones. Look at the bench. We are... We're struggling. We've got quite a few players out with injuries. Um, we're missing uh, Maya, Yamin, Alves, Alves, all injured. The usual half dozen players not registered for this tournament. So we've got, uh, got a youngster on the bench, Lad Baker. I think this is his first time on the bench for us. I don't think he's played for us before. He's one of the Patreon youngsters. And we've also got Jude Briggs, who is another youngster. Don't think he's a Patreon one, just a... Just a young lad who's come through our youth system. So a couple of our own youngsters making it onto the bench. Daniel Collins there as well. We do have three proper first team players available to come on if we need them though. But the team that's starting is Sadie in goal. A back four of Candomil, Sands, Lee and Silva. With Ricardo at the base of the midfield. Cristiano and Zipancic ahead of him. Costa in behind Akemo and Mira. This has been my strike partnership for the last couple of Premier League games. And it is looking good. I think... I think Mira is now an automatic starter, regardless. And I'm just trying to decide who out of a Kamo and Kano is going to be his long-term partner, or at least his short-term partner, while we while we get through to the end of the season and decide what we're going to do in the summer, whether we are going to commit to trying to bring in some wingers and move to this kind of shape, or whether we're going to try and find a strike partner for him, because I suspect that neither Kano or a Kamo are going to be Champions League winners. I just... I feel like they've had enough of a chance now. Kano's had five years here at home. And despite that one good season, he's been pretty poor for four of them. What a goal from Robert Costa. His 15th of the season. He has been an absolute superstar signing. And, I mean, an attacking midfielder scoring crucially important left-footed free kicks in big games. Those of you who were here this time last year, does that remind you of anyone? What a goal from Costa. Home one, Lazio nil. I feel like I feel like demons are being exercised and I can't even put my finger on what the demons might be because we've never in our history played Lazio before. Um, but we are still maintaining our 1-0 lead as we approach half time. Lazio not even had a shot yet, which I mean it, <laughs> I'm I'm not I'm not gonna not gonna count my chickens before they hatch. I feel like there's reasons not to do that against this team. I can't imagine what those reasons might be. Anyone who's joined this series partway through has no idea what I'm talking about. But then, who joins a Football Manager Let's Play on episode 165? You've kind of brought it on yourself. Um, don't get complacent. Remember what happened last time, even though it didn't happen. Uh, Cristiano now, trying to release Silva down the, down the right-hand side, but he can't quite get there. And uh, the... The move just kind of peters out again. With it, with us being at home in the first leg, which is a little bit out of our comfort zone, we seem to be away from home in the first leg more often than not, but being the home team in the first leg, I do feel we need to be a little bit more adventurous and try and push on for a second goal. Obviously, we don't want to we don't want to concede and invite Lazio back into this. What might that be like, inviting Lazio back into it? Um, but at the same time, 1-0 going back to their place... Anything can happen. Um, I'm going to bring Manu on in central midfield. We have done this a few times recently, and he plays quite well there. And with Costa being as good as he is as the attacking midfielder, 
for Manu to continue to be in and around the squad, which I definitely want him to be, because he's been a hero of ours for so long, he does kind of have to adapt to learn to play somewhere else. Um, Ricardo is going to come off for De Anzi again. That's a, that's a fairly common substitution that I've made from time to time, sticking De Anzi at the base of the midfield. And uh, just, I mean, it's a nice defensive wall. And then Manu, Zipancic, Costa can all focus on attacking ahead of him as we try and grab that all-important second goal. Manu plays it into Costa. Costa to Kano. Mira's ahead of him. We've not seen anything of Mira today, but Candemil is free down the left-hand side. Mira's there and he scores. Boom. Exactly what the doctor ordered. A beautiful cross from Candemil. It was a great move from everybody involved. Kano did brilliantly to find Candemil. That was superb. Perhaps Kano's future is as a support striker to Mira. And what a, what a moment for Mira. Ninth goal of the season for him now. He's actually averaging a goal, a goal every start in the Premier League. Um, despite having come off the bench quite a few times to ruin his goal per game ratio. But his goals per minute ratio is superb. And that was an incredibly important goal. Despite being entirely invisible for the whole game, he weighed in with a very important goal when it mattered. And we're now going to play Manchester United in the league. The big games just keep on coming. And then we'll be back in just a moment for the second leg against Lazio, where hopefully we book a semi-final spot in the Europa League. Well, we just had the most Kev Premier League game ever away against Manchester United. Um, Manu scored four times. We were 4-1 up, I think. 4-0 up. No, four. we went 4-1 up in the first half. United got back to 4-4 in the 86th minute. Manu repi replied immediately to get his fourth. Scored four goals, only got a 9.8. What does that man have to do? to get a 10 out of 10 um, but that means that the league now looks like this we're up to third place in the Premier League with four games to go tied on points with Manchester City and uh, starting to take advantage of some of these teams behind us and hopefully our good form can continue and we can book a spot in the Champions League through the league and this Europa League nonsense won't even matter but we are going to play the second leg against Lazio just in case our insurance policy cup and we're going with Saidi in goal, a back four of Candemil, Sands, Lee and Silva. Alves at the base of the midfield, Zipancic and Cristiano ahead of him. Costa getting the nod ahead of Manu, despite Manu scoring four times in the last game. Did you see Costa's free kick in the game before? We've got two very good attacking midfielders and then a Camo and Mira up front. Actually played Kano in central midfield in the last game as well. Um, because he can and I like him, but he's just... He's not scoring enough goals anymore, so maybe he can just become a central midfielder. We saw him hit that pass in the last game. He was good. He's a, he's a good midfielder as well. I'm I'm just I'm trying things out, but hopefully we can go and pick up a win against Lazio. I don't see any reason or precedent that would suggest after being comfortably ahead in a first leg we'd go and mess things up against Lazio in the second leg. No reason to expect why that might happen at all. So hopefully we'll just go there, win the match, everyone's happy, and we get uh, Euro our first, I think. Yeah, it must be our first European semi-final with home. Um, we got knocked out in the first knock. Was it the first knockout round of the Champions League last year? Um, and the year before, we were in the Europa League, but I don't think we made it this far. Is that right? Home historians, let me know down in the comments. Yikes. Oh, it's happening again. It's happening again. No, I've not done this. I've not brought a right winger on yet. Although I have just introed this match by talking about playing players out of position and trying things out. Do I learn nothing? Right. Let's um, let's have ten minutes of passion straight away. Lazio went the entire first half in the last game without threatening us at all. They've come out and scored immediately today before we've had a proper shot. Costa now with the free kick and an away goal here would be delicious. Here's Costa again, finds Sands. Sands back to Costa, back to Sands, back to Costa. Somebody do something creative. There's Cristiano and I thought he'd stuck it in the top corner and I was going to be very, very happy if he did. But he didn't. He hit it high and wide. And the the passion has ended. We still haven't had a shot on target. And we're half an hour into the game. We are still ahead on aggregate, remember. So nothing disastrous just yet. Just yet. Once again, Mira not turned up so far. I hope he then just weighs in with a goal randomly. Because that's what he does. But I don't know. how. <laughs> it was fun in the last game when he was scoring. There'll obviously be games where he doesn't score though. 
And in those games, it's going to be less fun having him not turn up and not contribute to the play at all, other than finishing stuff off. Kandemil now to Zupancic. Back to Kandemil. We've got men in the middle. Kandemil with the cross. It hits a Lazio defender and doesn't make it into the middle. And thankfully, they've not come out and scored immediately at the start of this second half. But I am looking at the bench, looking at Kano and Manu particularly, and thinking substitutions are going to be fairly near in our future. Saidi's just made a world-class save to keep us in this. And Mira now finally making a contribution to an attack. Uh, but it breaks down and Lazio intercept and get get warming up, lads. Kano, Manu, get out there, warming up. You're both coming on on the 70-minute mark to try and spark something for us. Mira can come off, Kano can come on, Manu is going to come on for Costa and hopefully Manu continues in the fine form that he was in against Manchester United in that Premier League game that we just played. And we have got Ricardo on the bench as well. Alves is just recovering from injury. But Cristiano is not playing well at all in midfield, so I'm going to bring Ricardo on, stick Alves up there, which we've done plenty of times before, and just hopefully hold on at this point. I don't think I could handle a late goal from Lazio to knock us out of Europe again. I would be very upset by that. But here they have a corner. Last attack of the game. Zipancic heads clear-ish. Someone just get a boot in. Just kick some, kick them. Can we have the final whistle now? That's 93 minutes on the clock. The referee blows immediately as we hit 93 minutes. Um, we got away with it there a little bit. The players know it too. They're fired up by the team talk. But we are, most importantly, in the Europa League semi-final. And now we're going to find out who we play in it. So here we go then. It's down to Dortmund, us, Stuttgart and relegation candidate Southampton. How have they made it through to a European semi-final? Um, we just need to avoid Dortmund. I mean, Southampton would be perfect at this stage. Stuttgart, I can cope with as well. I just want to avoid Dortmund. We've not avoided Dortmund. We're going to have to do this the hard way. We could have the dream Europa League semi-final of home against Southampton. Um, right, so that's going to be tomorrow's video then. Um, and once again, we're going to do it the same way. Uh, both legs of Dortmund. I'll just keep you up to date with what's going on in the Premier League. And then, fingers crossed, the episode after that can be the final game in the Premier League season, which could well be a Champions League qualification playoff against Chelsea. And then a Europa League final. That would be perfect. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. And thank you very much for watching.